guys, welcome. My name is Joy and thanks for tuning in to my YouTube channel, True Grit Art. Today I have a special guest and her name is Amelia. Okay, so I've been waiting to do this vlog for the past three weeks so I can update you guys with such good news. My final grade in this statistics class is a B. <sighs> Thank you, God. <laughs> it has been very stressful in our house. I have been stressed out, so that means everybody else in the house is stressed out because all I've been doing is being stuck on a laptop trying to figure out word problems. And I am not very well at math. And actually, when I got my associate's degree in nursing, I learned that I needed to take a statistics class to get my bachelor's in nursing. And that was always a factor of me going back to school. And I hate to admit that, but it's so true. Like every time I thought about signing up for class, I saw the word statistics and I saw word problems. And I'm like, oh no, I'm just, I'm not feeling it, you know? But, you know, I took it online and it was really, really difficult for me. <laughs> I had an awesome teacher. Every Monday she would, she would post like when she would be, doing open office hours, which was like an hour, and she would do it on Wednesday and Saturday or Wednesday or Sunday. And she would go through the homework, which was awesome because she would explain everything and like reading it and then watching YouTube videos is good. But when she is ex explaining it step by step, it's like, oh yeah, you know. Um, I did have an A average up until the sixth week. The sixth week we had to take um, a quiz and I didn't really study for it. I took it after I worked a 12 hour shift and it was just very difficult. I could have taken it two more times, but I just, I'm too tired. I just wanted to keep going and get through the seventh week and then get to this now eighth week. So our final exam, so I did like not do good on two quizzes. So out of like, if you want to talk points, maybe I got like 27 points out of 50. So that dropped my grade down to a B, but everything else, my homework, um, whatever labs, <laughs> I got like the full points. So those things saved me and the discussion boards. Okay, so the final exam, uh, we had two chances. I took it Wednesday. I waited for my husband to get back from coaching CrossFit all day. Once he showered, the kids got settled, eaten, he took over, and I started my final exam 8.47 at night. We had three hours. I did it with the goal of just like completing it just to get a feel, but then after five questions, I was like, man, what if I do good? Let me try my best and see. So I did. I did try my best. It was a lot of back and forth with like three of these notebooks, which are actually my daughter's. Um, and then she had to go to bed. I was taking it in our bedroom because it's very quiet there and she had to go to bed. Um, she sleeps with, with one of us and one of us sleeps with our son at the moment because of, you know, he's going through topical steroid withdrawal. So she had to sleep. So I finally got done at 1147. She finally fell asleep. The light was on. I was very stressed out. I pressed submit and my points that I got were 170 points out of 250. So I was like, uh, okay, let's see. So then there is a screen on, um, on the website of your class where you could technically put in the points and see what your grade average would be. So I put in 170 points on my final exam and it made my final grade to a B. And I said, thank you, God. I'm not taking the exam again. I don't want to. I'm like done with this class. I don't ever want to take a math class again online. It is, no matter how awesome my teacher was and all the things that I had to help me, you know, it just was, oh gosh, I don't know. I just, I don't know. It was time consuming. So like when I, I've been back at work now for a month now and I would start studying at 11 at night and then I would be done at 1 a.m. Or if it was my shift to be with my son, I would start at 1 a.m. and then be done by 4.30 a.m. Why did I study like this? Because statistics has a lot of freaking steps. And on top of the steps, so say it'd be on step three for a word problem, then I would get interrupted 
go feed the kids, make sure they're okay. That would probably take an hour. Then I'd go back and then I'd be like, okay, I'm on step three. Oh, I would just like totally lose my flow. Or during step three, I would have to go on Excel. Oh my gosh, how do I use Excel? How do I do find this problem? Then I would have to go on YouTube, YouTube it, watch the whole thing and then apply it to that. Pro I mean, it is a lot of work. Now, I am part of a Facebook group um, that is not a formal Chamberlain College of Nursing. And like, I wish I took this as advice, but me and this one girl, we were starting at the same time and she had high anxiety and stress, just like I did. Like for her to the point where she just wanted to quit the whole program together. And I totally felt her, but I knew by the grace of God and hard work and dedication and the help of my husband and my kids that I would make it through with at least a B. Of course I want an A, but I'm just so happy with this B. I kind of plugged under her comment. She actually ended up getting an A. She got a 93.3. I got an 83.3, so whatever. I thanked everybody for their for their stuff, and somebody was like, yeah, Brent's cave, stat cave is like the best. I never use that. So I went back to Sissy, and I wish I had used that. He explains it so well, not like my teacher did it, but at least you can have that accessible so you can rewatch it and then like really, I mean, he flowed and I'm like, man, I wish I used that. So anyways, if you are gonna take a statistics class online, totally go on Facebook and look up Brent Stat, Brent Stat Cave and watch all of his videos on his website from like beginning to the end as you go through your um, semester, so. <sighs> I'm very glad that this class is over. So, so far, let's recap. I've taken six class. I have six more to take. I need like a two credit class. So I chose to take computer business applications. And so far what it looks like is I'll be learning Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. And man, I wish I took that in the beginning of going to Chamberlain College of Nursing because Everything you write is on Microsoft Word. They want you to do PowerPoints. I had to learn off YouTube how to do that. So, oh, well, she, she knows how to do PowerPoint and she, she taught me too, so. <laughs> um, so I am gonna take that class. I feel like it's gonna be a break, but maybe not. It looks like a lot of work, which is fine. Nothing like statistics online. I, I'm so glad that is done. And I look forward to after this next class, that'll be my seventh class, five more. I just pray and hope that it goes by smooth. So thank you guys for watching. Oh, I bought this new cool thing to use at work and I hope to do a review about it soon. So keep you guys updated. I like it so much. I feel like I want to gift it to somebody because it it's pretty cool. Like, and I hardly ever buy anything for work. I'm like a very minimalist person. Like stethoscope, two pens, done, you know, but this is, this little tool is like, I like it a lot. So, all right, guys, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, email me, let me know how things are going in your journey towards your bachelor's of nursing. And I'll see you guys soon. Happy Halloween. Bye.